you. I've known you for a while now. Uh, first time teammates, but uh, long time walkers by in the pits. How you going? Um, so the first one's a bit of an oddball one. What was what was your first car? Mm, first car. My like first roadie. First roadie was yeah. a Mitsubishi Lancer. Really, was it? And, and actually, it was a hatchback too. So yeah, okay. Got a lot to so you start you started early. You knew you'd end up in TCR. So you go race supercar, all that stuff, and you that you, you knew hatchback life was for you. Yeah, I was planning ahead for the future. You were evidently. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, mate very forward thinking. Mine was a bit different. Um, I used to advertise my first car as a two-door Mercedes Turbo. But yeah. what, really, what was it? <laughs> it was a Mercedes Vito van. Oh. <laughs> it was a weapon. We used to call it the Mystery Machine. Um, I used to take my go-kart everywhere in it. It was great. And it had a sunroof that was emerging as well. Yeah. So, like, the more it rained, the more the sunroof would expand. I think I remember seeing that a couple of times up at Lifco. Yeah. Go kart track. Yeah, that was that was my accommodation as well as as well as my transport. Um, so, first one done. What got you? Uh, what got you into car racing? Uh, obviously, my father, Barry Moore. Yeah. Um, I grew up literally. Uh, the first year um, he started racing was the year I was born in 1992. So. Um, gave away your age. Did so he um, started racing then, and si since then I've been a baby and brought up around a racetrack. So it's been in my blood ever since. Yeah, you know, sweet. Enjoyed every moment growing up watching him race, and now getting to do it myself. So what got me in the racing was uh, my old man did a bit of rally um, and sold cars. Always used to bring the company cars back home, and in the back in the day, that was like the Commodores, the VX, VTs, and I just liked going fast. Um, and my old man had a pretty good habit of going quickly on the roads. Um, and as a young bloke, I, I actually quite liked it. So racing was the only way to do it because he used to get pulled over a fair bit, and <laughs> I didn't want to get pulled over. It scared me. So um, that was that. So, Josh, yeah. what was your biggest moment or passing manoeuvre? <sighs> Jesus. Actually, I do have an answer for this. So, it was at Bathurst, but it wasn't the other week. It was 2019, Formula Ford, um, my first race at the mountain. Um, and it was for the lead, last lap into the chase. We went side by side, me and a guy named Matthias Beck. Um, Le Mans LMP1 podium together, <coughs> beat him. Um, but we've gone through the chase side by side, through the braking zone. He sort of pushed me onto the grass. We interlocked wheels uh, and then I sort of ran him out of road a little bit as well and went for the win. But that was good because before I went out for the race, Paul, who owns the car, just basically said, bring it back in bits or bring a trophy back. So it was good. It was a good prep job. It was, it was actually very good. It's very nice when the team owner says, you've got plenty of spares in the trailer. Uh, here's a good one. So do you remember your uh, first ever race? So like you're, you're very, like I know you started back in 1992. Um, do you remember your first, first gig? Well, the first gig. Yep, I did. It was actually midget go karts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at yeah. Eastern Creek Raceway. Yep. Uh, and I couldn't tell you what I came, <laughs> but I was gladly didn't get lapped. That's you didn't get lapped. Yeah, okay. The first race. Well, so. mate, if our achievement this weekend is same track and we didn't get lapped, we're in trouble. <laughs> um, so, I mean, we got Eastern Creek this weekend. We actually we've got a really good calendar this year, I think. Um, good eclectic mix of tracks, um, but if there was one track you'd want to go and race on in a TCR car, what would it be? Is Probably the Nordschleifer. I was going to say Nordschleifer. Definitely be on the bucket list in a TCR car. Yeah. So. I think it's on the bucket list in any, any car, car really. Yeah. Have you been around there at all? Been around there in I mean, ro roading. So. 
wasn't the old Mitsubishi Mirage, was it? Nah, or the Lancer? Definitely wasn't. So. It, was, it was an up spec um, Lexus. So oh, which went upper class. Wow. That's a Yeah. So she definitely moved around that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was odd to come up and grab some Porsches, some Yaris's. <laughs> really? It was a mixture. And there was a couple of bikes out on the track too. So. Yeah, they don't mess about, do they? No. Nope. Especially the bike. I don't know how they do it, the bike guys. Oh, that's the other thing. We don't have our our third, our new member here, Devarshan. We do not. DP. So. Um, he should be at the track already. He should actually. He should be at the track. He would have chopped it in already. Um, he should be a good addition for us. Obviously local as well. Um, and he coaches there. He as coaches well. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he's had plenty of lattes um, at the track doing all like us. Um, but it'd be good to have three cars to bounce some ideas off. Um, particularly on the Friday, especially someone like him. Again, a lot of experience, good dude too, we all get along. So, we're in, we are actually, this is no, we're in my everyday car. I, this is the car I'll, I'll be taking to the track to so drive around in. Um, biggest difference, obviously, between this and the race car is that if this was the race car, I'd be driving. Um, I probably wouldn't have Nathan next to me because he, he doesn't trust my driving. Um, I don't know why. I haven't had any real moments this year. Q, Philip Island, <laughs> turn <Phillip> three. Island. <laughs> Um, it wasn't just one in the same corner. <laughs> uh, don't, don't let the truth get in, get in the way of a good story. So, um, it's obviously left-hand drive, the race car. Um, paddle shift as well, rather than H-pattern manual uh, in the road. Slick tyres. Slick tyres, wide. Um, there's no creature comforts. This seat, watch this. Electric, how nice is that? If I ask the boys to move the seat in the race car, I get dirty looks. It's a lot harder, it's a lot harder than that. Um, the engine actually, the, the core engine is the same, which I, I actually thought was amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I don't think many people think it's still the same block, but it is. What, not only block, but rods, pistons. Yeah, um, yeah there's, there's very little done, um, and it's just turned up, really. Other than that, it's, it's a standard road car engine which I thought was just incredible um, and for the speeds that we do in the TCR car it's pretty pretty amazing that the stock unit can, can handle it and for so long the life on the engine is really good so and the, the biggest change you didn't say is you're actually sitting in the driver's seat yeah in the race car yeah yeah, yeah. The opposite side to what you drive your everyday car left hand drive yeah yeah when that didn't really because you did a lot of racing over in the states and in Europe, didn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Europe was the other side of the car. Yeah. So you didn't, when you jumped back in, you didn't really find any issues? No, I think because both of us started in go-karts, I think you sit in the centre of the car, yeah. so the, the left or the right doesn't really matter to us because we started in the centre. Yeah. It's just a matter of a steering wheel. And even open wheels when you go Formula 4, Formula 3, like this, my path similar to yours, all the gears are on the right hand right side. So, the, side, yeah, yeah, the left... Your left arm is just for steering, so jumping in the TCR car isn't, wasn't an issue. And, and we're using the paddle, so it's um, still where you hold steering wheel, so yeah, that's very right. universal. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Got to the hill start, I haven't done one of them in a while. Mate, you just push the... Another thing that the TCR car doesn't have is a bit of hill hold. Oh, yeah. We've got the big wand, which I've also... Used a couple of times. I've used a couple of times. That was the one thing when I first got in the car I thought I'm gonna use this at some point and in don't the have season. These blue and red flashing light that people pull you over when you go over no, 80 k's an hour. That's right. Unless it's pit lane. Yeah. Then you get roasted. So hot topic. Hot topic, oh god. If you got to choose your daily with your colour, what colour would you choose? In I thirty N spec? Oh, what else would you think? I mean it's really the only car you'd want to drive. Um, I mean this is just the epitome of comfort um, 
and if you push that old button on the wheel there, snap, crackle and pop, oh, you probably can't hear it on the camera, but I just turned it up a notch. Um, well, this, this car is actually red. Oh, I actually really like the red. Everyone has, obviously, performance blue. Um, that's sort of the, the halo colour. Um, for a reason, it looks awesome. Um, but I like the red. I like the heated seat. You got the, obviously a couple of seat options. I like the heated seat. Um, I don't really need a sunroof. Um, I've had cars with sunroofs, so this spec here is probably about where I think I'd be at. What about you? If you were going to spec one, oh, and I hang on, I reckon once I kick you out of the track, I've got this car. So I'm taking the wrench. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the nerve on this bloke. Um, well, hang on. Fastback or hatch? Hatch. Hatch, yeah. I okay. started in hatch. Yeah, okay, true. Got to end in hatch. Yeah, oh, that's right. Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. So, guys, we're excited for this weekend, and we hope you are too. If you can't make it out to Sydney Motorsport Park, then you can catch all the action live of the Super Cheap Auto TCR Australia Series on 7 Plus and 7 Mate.